that the music shit, like I'm good at it. I'm real good at it. Like, I'm really good at it. Hey, that nigga out yeah. fire, dog. What is it like going through a divorce? Ooh, shit. I owe much more than God said. That's a that's a janky <laughs> question, but I don't really that get that. That's racist, good. fool. Ferrari cost 600,000, stop playing with me. Hunnets with the blue faces, feeling nipsy. Louis V briefcases, getting tipsy. Keep it with me, it's a murder if a nigga tempt me. The streets talking, you niggas know what it do. With some money, I could never imagine you. I be ducked off, I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm in Malibu with a nigga fool. 400. I'm your host, Stevie, and of course, you already know this is YG, Mr. 400. Now, we ain't doing no simple ass shit on this show. We ain't just interviewing no nobodies. We interviewing a huge. This guy don't sit down with a lot of people. He don't have to talk. His name speak for itself. And I feel like you gotta put some respect on his name. We sitting down today with the Grammy Award winning. You niggas ain't got Grammys, so don't don't get to talk. <laughs> Grammy Award winning, three time DJ of the year, multi platinum, three time producer of the year, founder of Ten Summers. Fashion icon, mustard. I like that, Stevie. I gotta get your. I gotta I get like your. That. I, I feel like you were. Yeah, it had a nice ring to it. Yeah, yeah you gotta get niggas that far. You know, so we passing out flowers on this show. You I know? like that. Of course, I'm man. I mine. think. We, I think I was just telling him. I think when you talk about multi platinum, yeah. people don't understand that mean more, more than more than one time. That yeah. mean a lot of times, platinum, multiple times. <laughs> so, yeah. but you been Mr. Drip Chip yourself, dripped out. What you got on right now? Mm, I got on some Tams, some weak Tams. Some Acne Studio, this is the new collection. I don't know if it's so new. I think it's Runway, one word, Runway, but, and I think this is a denim tear jacket. These days, man, I just be throwing stuff on. Just I like, just, whatever like looks good, you know what I'm saying? Whatever fits the proportion well for me, so. Putting that shit on. YG, what you got on? Oh, man, I'm, 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 I got the Calvin Klein uh, hard bottom Show boots. Show that boot, put the boot up. You feel me? The <laughs> put one, the boot up. The ones that went viral in the shade room, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got some, um, I think these Saint Laurent denim, um, Supreme belt that you can't see, 400 shirt on top. I got the born and raised, you know what I'm saying? New era fitted on, long list my soul. Rest to the goat. And I got, you know what I'm saying, the gloves on for the dead homies. Keep telling you, you keep With a little going. Rolex, you know? Now that we got that out the way, let's get straight to the meat. Mm -hmm. Why you and YG fall out? Damn. <laughs> that was sick. Straight to the meat. It's crazy. Uh, hey, listen, well, we from Cali. We don't say pause. If you thinking like yeah, that, you yeah. thinking like think, that. I ain't thinking hey, like that. Don't say pause. I ain't thinking, I'm just saying. I'm All just right, saying. Now. Uh, which time? <laughs> the time that made which... it with the music stop. Give me that time. And then I, you can go into the other. I don't really think the music ever really stopped. I think. Did the music stop? Yeah, the music definitely stopped. <laughs> nah, because you, you think my crazy life and then after my crazy life was what? Still Brazy. What was on Still Brazy? No Mustard. Okay, what was the next album? Stay Dangerous. And what was on there? It was on Stay Dangerous. Big Bank and all that. So I don't think it really stopped. I think- It stopped one it time. Was we didn't get a full project again when you hey, decided look, to fall out. When I talk to the homie about it and just other people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I be just like, bro, we like niggas, we, we, we growing as humans and certain shit be happening and niggas just be needing time yeah, apart. I think, I think it's a more of a life thing. like. I don't think it was, it's never really been a real thing, to be real. It's never actually a real. Uh, yeah, it's never no. It's just like, nigga, I ain't fucking with you right now. I ain't fucking with you right now. Yeah. And who gonna call first type shit? <laughs> oh, okay. Like, who gonna, some who gonna, some yeah, shit. some like some shit like some that. Like, you, get, you live in the same household with your bro. Y'all be on the same, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might be on that accord. And then you think about this shit, like, bro, we ain't never had like money. You know what I'm saying? So like, when you bring money involved, and not even, I don't want to even say it's about money, because money ain't it. More ego. Than mm -hmm. money, money is just like with money comes ego. You know what I'm saying? So I think I, I think I think it's just that and growing up and just being like shit. I'm on this page. I'm on this page. You know what I'm saying? And right. That shit just be what it is. But I don't think it's it's never been nothing serious and no shit like that. The music shit is just like I don't know. I don't really look at it <laughs> like oh man, like I ain't really do no music. I just think I look at it like shit. We'll, we'll be cool again. We we'll do some music again type shit. Yeah, and and, and like what I be like. Like what I look at, like the light in that dark situation, it ain't really dark like that, but like the light in that situation be like me and a homie, it never was no shit that's like, oh, you can't come back from that. Like yeah. nigga cut like you gotta get cut off forever. It's never 
Like, he ain't done nothing to me like that. I ain't done nothing to him like that. Ain't nobody bitches got fucked, tried to get fucked. Niggas ain't stole nothing from nobody. Niggas ain't hit nobody. Nobody mama got touched. Ain't no weird shit ever happened, you feel me? It's always like some small shit that just be like- I think people create the narrative. That's like, that's dope, you feel me? Because it's like, it's a lot of people that, you feel me, they come in the rap game with whoever they come in with and then, when you hear the stories about them not being cool, they be like done forever, and it be like shit. It's like, oh yeah, you can't, you can't come back, you from can't it. come back right. from that. Yeah. And you know, what I'm saying, me and a homie, you feel me? Our story ain't never been like that. You feel me? So it's dope. It's hearing, just bro shit. Yeah. Hearing you say like egos and stuff like that, let me know. Hearing both of y'all speak for the first time, because this is somewhat of an exclusive. I ain't never yeah. seen a nothing like where y'all sitting down and talking about this shit. Yeah. So I see that y'all both like very self-aware, like niggas sometimes ego gonna get in the way, yeah, shit, money yeah, gonna get in the way. So y'all very self-aware of what the fallout was over. The other question I had was, did y'all run a fade? Like y'all, y'all ran, y'all ran a fair one? <laughs> <laughs> Hell right. no, nah, nigga. Yeah, that shit was, that shit was some other shit. <laughs> Cause I know sometimes you gotta get, you gotta, you know, no. sometimes words don't be enough. Nah, man. No, no, no. That's cool though, because I do feel like sometimes if you have to put your hands on each other, it's like as man, we should be able to have a discussion. And yeah. like I said, it ain't dark like that. It ain't dark like that. Like you said, might have wanted to fight fuck. each other. I don't think you never got to that though. More so like some. No, we didn't have some arguments and shit. We like, had some arguments. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, but you know? it don't never like, I don't know, man. We don't really never cross that line with shit. I think that we just was young, bro. Like, we still young. Nigga, I'm 33. Like, yeah, we, we young. So it's like, when you think of that and you coming from this shit and it's like, it's all type of shit. You, We all got different teams and shit. You gotta think about Ty got a whole different team. Yeah. He got a whole different, I got a whole different team. So it's a lot of moving parts to this shit. It's, I wish it was as easy as like, I mean, it is, but like, used to be like, we all sitting in the house in Inglewood and, or we all in the house in, in the Dons and we doing it, you know, it's easy. Yeah. It's, it's easier like that. But when it's all that other shit getting involved, I mean, I guess we getting around to it now to where it's just like, shit, it ain't. Niggas man. neighbors. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> for sure. I think you eating ribs at the nigga house the other day. I'm like, damn, you were making ribs and shit now, but you yeah. need a rib. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, a lot of projects came together. I think that y'all don't get enough credit for like creating this whole sound. This West Coast sound, like, and I think that we're going far away from the producer and artist locking in and making yeah. full projects. Like, we're so far away from that. And I feel like in the beginning of this whole West Coast movement, I can give you the, like, you know, the yeah. West Coast movement. Yeah. You guys stayed on that type of time. So when you dig, it was just one song on Steel Brazy. That's why yeah. it's kind of like the question, like, the music stopped because y'all kind of started that, hey, lock in with Mustard, I'm going to drop a whole tape. Yeah. Nobody's doing that no more. So now we're not getting cohesive pieces of art anymore. It's like you got a nigga from Miami giving you something, you got yeah, a nigga yeah. from New York giving you something, <laughs> and yeah. the project is all over the place. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to hopefully one day a full project from um DJ Mustard and YG. So that's yeah. the next question. Will we ever see a full scale project from DJ Mustard and YG? Yeah, I don't think that's like you know how people make that thing like a, oh, that'll never happen again. It's like, mm. we don't have that type of relationship where it's like, nigga, fuck you. Like, it's not that. It's just be like, all right, bro, like, let's get in. Like, recent. We've been talking about this shit recent. It's just, it be me, but it's like, it been me. I'm keeping a buck. It been me, but it's like, bro, I be going through some whole other shit that be like, I don't even really like, like, my album is done, but it's like. I'm so tired of it. Wait, I'm tired of hearing you say that. Nah, for real. For like real? my album done. It's like yeah, I, can I heard hear? that bitch. That it's motherfucker. done. Can I hear? That motherfucker been done. It's done. Can I, can it's, I like, hear? it's like, bro, it'd be like thirty thousand moving parts to this shit. For real, for real, with me. So it'd be like one day I'd be like on some music shit, and then one day I'd be like, I'm cool. I don't want to do this shit. So yeah. it's like for me, I'm just going through life as I go type shit. I'm not like I in the headspace of like I once was where it was just like music, music, music. You know, I got kids and shit. Like he got yeah. kids too. Yeah, I got so it's kids. like, I'll call him, what you doing shit? I'm at Harmony Tennis Practice. Oh, I'm about to, you feel me? I'm about to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it'd be a lot of shit going on. So I think that's the recent shit, but it's like, I'm coming around to like being on some music shit again. You know what I'm saying? So. And, and and I can hear you saying that. It's, it's dope to hear you sound like this. Cause I, you know, I ain't around you every day, but yeah. hearing you speak, I can hear that. Finding that, finding your way back to like, yeah, yeah man, this is the fuck I do. I'm DJ Mustard. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I can, I feel the same way about YG, especially when I'm trying to start something like this. Like, hey, yeah. YG, nigga, you better put some respect on my shit. Sure. Now, outside of YG, though, you got to work with everybody, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm sitting right here. I'm lucky. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm sitting in front of YG, YG and DJ Mustard. 
Come on now. Why you say you lucky like you wasn't around? I'm around lucky because like let me tell you why was. I'm lucky. Let me tell you why I'm lucky. Because you get to see somebody start at nothing, right? Right. And then you see them get to the top. And we all go our separate ways. You know, everybody got their own shit going. Yeah, yeah. So for it to come back, yeah. I don't consider luck like, oh, I found that $5 bill. Right. You know, luck is when, you know, everything falls in line. This is supposed to happen. I'm be supposed on the to side be of history. I'm you. supposed to be. Yeah. You Did you want to know a fun fact? Not to cut you off. Do your thing. It's crazy. You feel me? I was talking to Muster about doing a podcast. Mm-hmm. Shit. I'm like, hey, I'm finna do this podcast. What you think? Like he like, who the hoes? I said, man, I'm talking to this nigga. I'm talking to Stevie. I'm talking to this nigga. He like Stevie, nigga. <laughs> he yeah, said, I mean, nigga, Stevie, nigga. Yeah, for sure. I said, yeah. He said, hell yeah. On the gang, no cap. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> I said, I can do it. Say I appreciate it, but yeah. like outside of YG, you got to work with everybody. Like I said. Yeah. Who was like your top five? I know it's gonna be tough to do this, but God damn it, do it. Top who is like five. your top five artists that you've worked with? Top five as in like who I like to work like, with? Like, yeah, like when we get in here, we do what we, man, this is, I don't gotta do nothing but put it on and we putting it on. Uh, you don't gotta include me though. I'm yeah, that's automatic. Yeah. We already know yeah. that's automatic. And then uh, I, like me working with Mush, like he think I'm stressful. Our shit is like, <laughs> our shit is like, this nigga crazy. So like that's what make it great. Yeah, that's what make it. It's like so. It's like you gotta like. But the funny shit is what I've been learning, bro. And I'm not even saying this because he right here. I feel like we all crazy. Yeah, gotta be in a certain way. So it's like, for me, I know niggas probably be like this nigga crazy. You feel me? Because I just like my process is like, I'm gonna do it when I do it. That's my process, and that's like burnt out to say. Yeah. But it's like shit. I got real life shit going on. So like. You know, but like, I guess top five of who I like to work with or who I'm most comfortable with working with, I've, obviously this nigga Ty, um, comfortable, like I can be myself, do what I, you exactly. know, I'm not prepping to get in this shit. It's like, I'm going exactly. into the house type shit. Maybe Roddy, Ella, fuck, who am I missing? Hold on. Davis, Ty, Roddy. How was it working with Rihanna? Oh, uh, Rihanna? Uh... I feel like that's more like you gotta get prepped for that type of shit. Like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want but, to be in that space where he like, but, nigga, we making shit. Yeah, like that's. I mean, but she cool though. I spent a long time with her on tour and shit after that. So it's like, but even in that, in that, um, that whole environment, it was cool. It was a big ass house. We just mm-hmm. everybody had their own room, so we wasn't like sitting in front of her like trying to make some shit. It was more so like. Make some shit, you bring it to the table when you got it. So like when I did needed me, it was like I was in a I was in a small ass like bedroom in a in a big ass house and we did it. Uh Star came. Uh who else was on that song? Prince Charles. And when we did it, I played it for Jay Brown. He played it for her. And shit, I didn't even know what was going on the album. I left. I to be real with you, I don't know if I even told this story, but like I I was on some shit where I didn't want to go. <laughs> Some same some mustard shit like ah oh, man I'm tired or and that's when I used to be drinking lean and I'm shit. I'm glad you went. Yeah, I'm glad I went Actually. too. And I and I and I think one of the homies pumped me up, bro. You gotta go. Why are you? I'm gonna drive you. It was all the way far in Malibu. I'm in fucking wherever I was at and took me and that shit happened. And I, I found out like like me right before the album was coming out. And they're like, man, you know you're the only person on this album with a tag on the beat. We ain't taking the tag off. And I'm like, I like that. Damn, I didn't yeah. even realize that. So if you really that. go back and listen to that album, I'm the only person on there with a tag. And there's some hitters, there's some big producers on that album that got tags that ain't, that wasn't on there. So that was so, so back to the question, who's that fifth person? Because he, he brought a Rihanna, but so you putting Rihanna in that fifth slot? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I'm only saying, I guess, because like I did it. I mean, I went in the studio with her multiple times, but that was obviously that was a big record for me. But I feel like I'm missing somebody that I always work with that I just can't think of right now. Oh, they gonna tell you. They gonna tell you when they see this. They gonna say, yeah. Nigga, nah, nigga, I think I got me. this nigga, Ty, Roddy, Ella. Mm, fuck, who do I always work with that I'm just like? Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of it right now. Since we since we speaking on like artists that you had the opportunity to work Y'all with. Y'all should do top four all the no, time. No, I want top five. Yeah, Y'all top should do top four, four all the time. We should do top four, huh? Yeah. Four, huh? Yeah. Four, huh? Stay on brand, boo. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Top four yeah. all the time. Top four. Yeah. Top four. Yeah. It's prize pick time. Yeah, it's prize pick time. It's time to let all that barbershop talk about sports go to the next level by making daily projections on any 
NBA or NFL game. Prize Picks is a skill-based fantasy game where all you have to do is just select more or less on the players that you love to watch. If you really think you're a hooper like my boy YG think he is. But you're really just sitting at home on the couch? Use Prize Picks. You can get an entry in like 60 seconds. All you got to do is go over to prizepicks.com, use the promo code 400, and they will literally match you up to $100 on your first deposit. That means if you put 50, they're giving you 50. If you put 100, they're giving you 100. It's really that easy. All you got to do is go over to prizepicks.com or download the Prize Picks app and make sure you use promo code 400. Let them know we sent you. So speaking of artists that you got to work with, um, you got to work with Nipsey, man. Yeah, that's Nip. So wow. Hard. Look, that's and I, that's why I didn't want to do that to you, but I want to let it go. I want to let it go. I was gonna say, I'm like, damn, but that's why I was I gonna niggas gonna do top four, and I was gonna that's what I was gonna say. That's why I'm thinking that, bro. I'm segueing it, right? Yeah. Like so that. you got to work with Nipsey. That's I feel like that's like, yeah, that's. Well, well first crazy. off, first off, what was that even like to work with Nipsey? Man, that nigga Nip was like a smart, just. I don't even know how to explain him. That nigga is a unicorn, bro. Like, you know somebody that you see, and every time you see him, you learn something. Every time you talk to him. The last time we did the song Perfect 10 in my album, on my album, nigga, I, the reason why that song is not, I, know, I don't think I ever told nobody this either. The reason why that song isn't done is because Nip was the type of person that, bro, he took so long to do a verse. <laughs> he took so long to do a verse. That wasn't the beat that he was on when he rapped it. That wasn't, he rapped it on a whole nother beat. I reproduced that shit after. The reason why the song ain't finished and he's talking at the end is because he didn't finish the song. I feel yeah, like that was where your hoes at. at the yeah, where your hoes, that wasn't the hook at that first. That wasn't the hook nah. at first. I but feel see, like that's, that's what, that other song that he nah, had. Nah, but see, that, that, with Nip, the reason why I fuck with, with Nip like that and in the studio, it's like he just used to, it's a clip out where he's just like, bro, you just do what you want to do. I don't even care. Whatever you think is right, just do it. So I knew like, this, like, whatever I did, you know, he would approve of it because he always was like that. But, like, that night, he did that song to a whole nother beat. And we just sat there and talked about life. Like, all I'm talking about, bro, this is probably, like, a seven-hour combo in the kitchen at the studio. And we just sat there and talked. And that shit was like, yeah. yeah some bro, that's what make the bro, music, that's that what make the music dope. Yeah, uh -huh. was some Those conversations, shit. like, that's what make the music yeah. dope. Outside of just creating the music, it's yeah. like, we create that bond, so now... With the synergies, that's like, we can do this yeah. shit now because, yeah. yeah, I know what type of time you on. Right, right. So speaking of Nipsey, like, do you have any unreleased Nipsey music? You know what, man? I don't. I, I mean, I have, like, hooks and stuff and shit like that, but I don't have nothing that, like I said, man, it took Nip so long to do verses. Like, <laughs> anything that I really had, I let it go. Like, I I, I, I put I put out, like, riding around and mm -hmm. fucking... Um, Perfect 10 and like I think I got like a hook or some shit like that but like I don't like that was my that was a homie I don't want I'm not forcing no shit like that just for no like just to do it do you, know do you want not to cut you off but do you do you want to see a, like a, a Nipsey Hustle album after after this uh hell yeah if it's done right yeah of course would you, would, you, would you put your hands in it a thousand percent if they asked me to do that I would do that with no hesitation and I know it's so much shit that he probably got but it's probably half done. They probably not finished. <laughs> they probably not finished because that nigga Nip took his time. But he did. He said what he meant. So yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, that that's, that's why it took his time. Yeah, that he, nigga really. He didn't really like say he no was bullshit. Not, he wasn't putting anything on. Like, he wasn't oh, putting anything remember? down. Look, so so so. Me 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 and Nip was supposed to do a group album, a joint album. Yeah. Mush was gonna be one of the main producers. Boom. So we start renting out. The studio, you know what I'm saying? We at Paramount, boom. Mustard doing beats. I'm just going in the booth rapping. <laughs> you feel me? I'm going in the booth rapping. I come out, nip turn. You feel me? He just bopping his head. He don't go in the booth at all. He did not I'm rap. like, man, what's up with bro? But it's like, nigga, he just not going in the booth. Just putting anything rapping, down. You're like, nigga. I don't think he rapped at any of those sessions. He did it, nigga. He was just yeah. in there like, he was just vibing out. Like, nah, this ain't it. Yeah. What happened to that music from those sessions that y'all had? Nah, niggas still got them. Bro. Ain't that how y'all got Donald Trump? No, nah, we got Trump the first time we start working uh, on the group album. You feel me? This shit happened twice. Yeah. 
<laughs> niggas well, shit fuck up, man. No, that nigga yeah. hustle, motherfucker, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's different. Um, but yeah, though. But yeah, that, like, work I think on it's him. dope that both of y'all can kind of like share stories of like about how Nipsey was because a lot of people is like, it's like a figment of our imagination. Like, it's a once in a lifetime kind of person where it's like somebody seems perfect, even though we know yeah. he game bang. Yeah. We know all the flaws are there, but somebody just seems perfect. He's like, he gang bang, but he was the perfect gang banger. Yeah, yeah. you get what I'm like, saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Super in tune with himself. Like, he knew exactly. who he was, type shit. Like, that nigga was, that was a smart nigga, dude. Like, that's just some crazy shit. Like, now, I got to be around at a time where, um, like you said, we used to be in the Dons and a lot of shit got made in the Dons. Yeah. Like, I never, I'm an East Side baby, so I never experienced something like going into a house where Ty had this house set up yeah. for music making and fucking yeah. bitches. Yeah. That's yeah. the bottom line. The house, it was rooms <laughs> for making faded. music and it was like a setting like this, y'all, yeah. but you recording right here in front of everybody yeah. and shit is getting made and you will hear zebra sounds in the room and come out, <laughs> there's some crazy shit that yeah. are made. So how much influence did Ty have like on your like producing skills? All of it. I think I don't think I would be. I don't think I would be who I am if I didn't go and spend time in the dance. To be real, like it's, I was, I wasn't even making beats at that moment. I was just there, and that nigga allowed me to just sit in and watch him. And I'm like, hey man, let me get some sounds. And it's like some sounds. Yeah, here you go. Here goes all my sounds. It's like it's all your sounds. That nigga's like, it's not like you're not gonna make what I'm gonna make. You don't have the thought processes I have. I'm tired. I'm gonna make shit. You what you make it ain't gonna sound like what I make. And he told me that. And I was like, all right. And I always went with that same shit. Like when niggas would ask me, let me get some sounds. I'm like, you can have my whole computer. That doesn't make you. Gonna, that don't mean you are gonna make a beat like me. You know what I'm saying? We think totally different. It's no. It's not even possible. You know. So it's like when people like imitate the shit. It's like they can't. It's, it's not. It's not. That's not it. It's not the beats or the sounds. It's like what I thought to do at this moment with my production. So with Ty, he taught me all that shit. Like I'm talking about, I still use that nigga sounds right now. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. How much did he influence you, YG? Ty. Um, man, Ty influenced me a lot, bro. Ty, um, Ty like helped me like learn how to record myself at a higher level. Ty taught me how to do like stacks and doubles in my hook, different uh pictures of my voice and shit like that. Um, and then you feel me, the song right, like, like the structure. the structure, you feel me, of a hit record. Mm -hmm. v uh, hook, verse, hook, verse, hook, bridge, yeah. and hook. <laughs> Ty taught niggas that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You feel me, that bridge shit and all shit, that Ty shit. Ty the reason why I even start talking on songs. I wasn't talking on not a damn, no song. He like, hey man, come, come do some DJ shit on this. That's where that I got what the name of DJ. That's fuck? where that came from. It didn't come from. I kind of remember when I mean, the song started coming out with you on them like yeah, that. That was at that, that time. nigga. Like, bro, you should just scream on this shit. All right, shit bet. worked. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, right, man. Man. that nigga Ty dope, bro. Yeah, yeah, big part of this shit. Yeah, for I, I can remember um being in the living room one time and Ty was making your ass record something over and over. And you was <laughs> pissed off. I remember you been like, I can't remember the name of the song because again, like I said, so much music was getting made. Yeah. But I remember you being like, man, God. Damn, but now I, I'm pretty sure you're looking back at those times and going like, you made me hone my skills. And I remember, yeah. like I said, I'm an Eastside baby. I didn't know what YSL was. I had never heard of it. Yeah. And I went to Tile, you got YSL oh, bags yeah. like everywhere. I'm like, this nigga rich. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga rich. I don't think and I knew so, what YSL was yeah, like, time. He opened, yeah, yeah. Know YSL he was. opened yeah. my eyes to yeah. like, that I need, I want something better. I want yeah. some big shit in my life. Like yeah. one way in, one way out on the dance, house on the hill, before yeah. I even sold the record. Yeah, that's so a shout out to Ty, man. You got you play a big pivotal role in a lot of this shit. Yeah. And um, you got the opportunity to work with a lot of people, but I think like you and Roddy Rich, it's like this thing with y'all where it's like, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. Like, God damn, it's y'all, but then it's him too. It's like you got, yeah. God damn, you got balling, you got late at night. Yeah. Like, how do these songs even come together? Like when you're in the studio, how what is that like? Uh, Man, balling. I don't even think I was in the room when he did balling. I think my engineer was there, and he just went to the studio. And my engineer was like, "Man, he just did some crazy shit." And my engineer always send me shit after. So if I'm not at the studio, I'm like, "Hey, go to the studio." Like he got beats ready. Mm -hmm. He sent me that shit, and that song was supposed to have Nip on it. That balling was supposed to have Nip on it. I think mm -hmm. I got the text message where I'm like, "Hey, I got this song. I need you to get on it." He like, "Man, I'm on this radio run. As soon as I'm done." I'm gonna do it. So that's why he said London and Nip in the song, because Nip was supposed to be on the song. And then Doug was supposed to be on the song. That makes sense. Too. That's crazy. And I didn't even know that. I don't know why. I think Doug just 
Then Thug did Whoa Whoa for me. I think I went to play the song for Thug. He like, man, this shit fire. I'm going to do it. But he already had Whoa Whoa, and I didn't want to just wait. So I was just like, fuck it, give me Whoa Whoa. Roddy do a second verse. So, yeah. But for Roddy, I don't know. It's just like, just come to that nigga. He's just like, like once he just get in his zone, I don't like, well, late that night we was in the studio together. High fashion, I think we we're in the studio together. But it's the same, similar shit, like. Mm-hmm. I was kind of upset after we got those songs and yeah. then this project came out and you wasn't all over it. So, like, is it ever going to be a time? Because I know you probably felt the same. Like, damn, nigga, we got this and that. So why is it, again, I go back to the main question I have, that locking in with your producer. I don't think it's that, like, I get what people see, mm-hmm. but I think that, like, for everyone, and when I say, like, we are, we are overthinkers. We all think. So, like, for Roddy... I think I was on that album. I think I don't remember what song. Late at Night was on that yeah, album. Yeah, came night out was on that. super early. Right. But like, don't nobody want to feel like you just like, you can't do it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And likewise for me too. So I think once we get a lot of success, and this is not just me, I think look at Future and Metro. Like they just now doing an album together. You know what I'm saying? That's, I don't know what that was about. Why they didn't just keep going, 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 going. It ain't broke, don't fix it. But maybe it was like, okay, let me do it here now. Let me do this. Let me do that. Because you want to stand on your own, too. You know what I'm saying? So I think that, like, you don't want to over, like, muster on the beat, muster on the beat, muster on the beat. So if you look at, it like, an Ella album, I don't put my tags on her album at all. Because I want it to be about her. And it's more about her. You know what I'm saying? Us, we got so much music that people just want to hear that. Mm-hmm. It's almost like I could put a beat, I could do a beat, a song for him. And take my tag off, and niggas would be like, man, where, why you ain't put the mustard? Why you ain't have a mustard beat? And it's like, bitch, this is a mustard, mustard beat. Yeah, what are you okay, talking about? Sense. Like, if you think about Big Bang, it don't have the tag. I don't think Big Bang has a tag oh, on it. Yes, it don't. But it don't have a tag on it, and you would be like, why the fuck, nigga? But it's like, it's, nigga, it I, knew, I knew when I heard that. It's like, this it, did it again. You know what I'm saying? Like, it <laughs> is a mustard beat, but at the same time, I think people are just so brainwashed and used to the that YG mustard thing or. Roddy and mustard, you know what I'm saying? Hanging so it's on like, to something that it's like, like it. it's like if I did if I took the tag off, you would you'd be like, why it's not? And it fuck around and beat, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think it's just like a. Do you see yourself working with Roddy in the future, Roddy? Yeah, definitely. And shit, we got some shit cooking right now. That's dope, man. Like, what inspired you? Like, cause we all, all these years we see everybody, all every artist or producer. They wake up out of their sleep for some odd reason and want to start a damn label. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like a thing that people do. So like, what inspired you to be like, I don't know, damn that, 10 summers, I'm coming, I need a label. I think that's just like any producer's dream. You you a producer, you want to break artists. You want to be somebody. You want to, you know, you want to, you look at niggas like Dr. Dre and you're like, man, he had Aftermath. I want to have an Aftermath. You look at um, all of the greats. You know, they, it's like you want to... Um, be able to like curate something that's yours. You want people to look at something that you did and be like, okay, this all came from him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you think yeah. of Aftermath, you think of Eminem, you think of 50 Cent, you think of- It's the umbrella of, like- Yeah, you think of the yeah. umbrella that came under Dre, you just like, Real. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's just like a producer's dream. And artists, like you look at artists, look at Wayne, Cash Money, Young Money. You know what I'm saying? You want to- following those guys' footsteps, like, with some music business. You know what I'm saying? If you can find talent and you know how to break talent, then that's the that's the way to do it. You don't want to you wanna break these artists for yeah. somebody else. You know what I'm saying? How, how, do you, how do you see an artist and go, I'm signing you for sure? Um, you got to see something in them that you think is, like, fucking special. You know, so for me, I just, like, when I seen Ella, it was like, oh, okay, she can sing. I want to do the R&B. I want to do R&B. I want to devote my time to, like, trying to, figure this out. And it's almost like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. You crack the code to a puzzle. It's just like, oh shit. And it's just like, for your legacy, you right. want to be able to be like, damn, I dropped. I, I remember when Mustard had Ella and he had this person, he had this person. That's the that's what you really want. You know what I'm saying? So you can build your legacy. So when you go on, it's like, damn, he did a, he did some, I don't even know, you know, what that was he was seeing. You know what I'm saying? So. What about you, YG? What do you, what do you, when you, because you got a few artists yourself too. When you see an artist, like, how do you decide that like, I don't got no artists right now and shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, but the label's still there though. Art, having artists is hard, man. I, I bet. Yeah, Just to shit, be real, man. Like, yeah, that shit. Is, uh, boy, that, that shit, shit is stressful, tough. But, but I still got the four hundred brand, so that's my thing. Like, that's my baby. The four hundred brand overall, and like with the brand, you feel me? I got the clothing line. I got the TV and film shit. I got the um, 
the podcast now. You know what I'm saying? I got some other shit in the works. So like, I put like most of my energy, you know what I'm saying, there. I can respect somebody going, hey man. You feel me? It's like a label. Yeah. yeah. I can respect you going, hey man, shit. Can't keep I got this going on. I can't Maybe. if I can't really lock in with you, like yeah. really get it in and do what I need to do to make this thing work because my name on it too. Yeah. I can respect you going, I gotta let that go. Yeah. But with you and Ella, it's a trip to me because when she talking, she talking like ink, like if like she from England, then she singing just she is from England. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? I'm like, damn, yeah. how does she do that when she get in the booth? It just goes away. You know what, man? It's just like when you see a fucking actor and fucking what's that uh, show? Snowfall and Snowfall. shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my nigga, damn. Nigga, you British nigga? It's like some shit like that. It's another the other dude. I don't know his name, but uh, not from not from Snowfall. He's from uh, BMF. The black. I know what you're talking about. You talking about the little the black. Yeah, the, the one, the one, janky one, the janky, the, the, the black one that had the shit, shit bag, bag and all, and all shit. that. He was janky, the janky was, one. Oh, he's yeah, British. the janky one. He oh, you ain't never shit. heard him talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he really wanted to go at a party. Oh, he was like, hey, how you doing? Fuck man, like, what he was janky. Yeah, that shit crazy. So it's like I think it's the same. It's the same shit. Yeah, that's some probably something to get used to. And then like I'm saying, like you, man, you damn near done it all. Like even I can see how proud you was, like on the red carpet to get a Grammy, like yeah. Because this is what we do it for. Right. This is what we doing it for, right? Yeah. So you got all these accomplishments. Is this something less on that list that must have just like, this is what I got to do before I say? Uh, I definitely want to get, I mean, that's my Grammy, I guess. You know, I produced a song, but I think a mustard song as a Grammy, um, an album, a Grammy award winning album. Uh, I, You know what, though? I think I don't really like, I'm okay if I don't win another Grammy. I'm fine. I don't think that I'm just like striving to win Grammy after Grammy. I think I'm more trying to like curate my legacy and figure out. I'm more in tune with like how people are gonna look at this shit for me when it's all over. You know, like how I look for Dre, and not, not to say it's all over for Dre, but it's like, man, that's Dr. Dre, man. That nigga don't got to No matter nothing. fucking what, that's Dr. Yeah, Dre. I don't, I don't yeah, care. I know what you mean. This, this, yeah, this, you don't even this, think this. about, like, when you think about Dr. Dre, you like, man, how many Grammys a nigga got? You don't think about no like, shit like that. It's like, nigga, he did it. Like, he did Cementing it. See, yourself in that forever, ever. Yeah. Flat toe, like, yeah, that's like, must. Yeah. I ain't even got a fucking Grammy nomination and shit. It's because the years you supposed to won all the awards. I told you, Beyonce had Drunk in Love and all yeah, that was out. You no, 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 that was before that. No, no Beyonce, the years that he was nominated no. for most of his awards. You know what though? You know what though? Man, I will say, over the years, it wasn't the right people. Mm. We have now is now starting to be. Look at like it's the changing. Grammy nominations now. It's, changing. Yeah. it's, changing. it's yeah. way you know like different. Like like you got it's Ice changing. Spice and like you got so much of like rap culture and that shit That's to where crazy, it's like man. it wasn't like that back then it wasn't like that a when, sacrifice <laughs> it wasn't like that when that shit was going on like yeah. I, I got to see you in all phases too much man i was I, like your weight loss journey yeah like let's just get into a little bit of that like what what inspired you to be like hey you know what i want to i want to be able to fit into that the, the, the nice clothes man man i always been getting dressed like i always i remember arguing with this nigga because i was wearing timberlands he like, bro, stop wearing them shit, bro. We from the West Coast. Bro, I'm wearing Timbers. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Dancer. I mean, but I had different flavors. I would get with the Vans and the Skinnies, too. I would have, you know, but then I just, I don't know, man. I always been into, like, fashion. Like, if you go back and look at, like, old fucking uh, interviews, I was just like, man, I want to lose weight. I was so fucking stupid to say. Like, I want to lose weight so I can wear some jeans. That's why, you know, that's where the question that's came from. idiot, uh... That's some fucking idiot shit to say. I think that um, I didn't really start losing weight until I was like, I remember I used to be telling these niggas, bro, I'm about to go on a diet. And niggas used to be like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, a diet every week. I'm going on a diet, I'm going on a diet. Bro, you're not going on a diet. And I just think that I tried so hard and hard and hard, and it wasn't about the clothes. It was, it was about, like, I got kids, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a hypochondriac. If anybody knows me, mm. nigga, if I get a cut on my finger right now, I'm going to be like, man, Shit infected. You think I should go to the doctor? <laughs> like shit like that. You so ain't letting you ain't letting when COVID just go by. hit, it was like, <laughs> oh, if I catch this shit, I'm gonna die. That's what I was thinking. I know it's mm -hmm. like extreme, but like so many people died from that shit. And it was like, I was like, oh no, nah, like I gotta change my ways. And I, I started like in COVID, like I think I and I had a bet with the homie. I was like 260 something. My highest weight was like 340. And I got down 100. Went up a little bit. COVID started. I'm like 260, 275. Had a bet with the homie. 
<clears throat> and then COVID hit, and I I was just like, Phew. I start walking every day. I start making fish in the backyard and on the grill, corn and spinach. I ate that shit every single day, and shit, that shit start falling off. By my thirtieth birthday, I was like two fourteen. I lost the bet though, but I was like two fourteen, and then. After that, now I just teeter totter from like there yeah, to like. Yeah, it's a way like that. Yeah. I asked that um because now hearing you tell me the story like diets, yeah. walks, you know, um a lot of naive people out in the world thinking like, oh, must have went and got surgery. Yeah. Did you if get, I got did you surgery, get some type nigga, of, I would have a muscle? six pack. Oh, if so you would have went for the big luna. Like I'm if I'm if I'm get if I get the surgery. I'm going to get the whole. You, you feel it, me? You like if that was that was. You gonna get the bulletproof vest? Yeah, I'm gonna get the whole fifty. <laughs> I'm coming out looking like fifty. Get rich or die trying. You mm. know what I'm saying? But like, nah. I, um, it this years. Like you go back look at them interviews. It's years. You can literally see the weight dropping. You I can see, see yeah. when I gained it back. You can see when I like right now. I'm you fucking, got a little more on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, it's just like a that shit was just trial and tribulation. But also people don't like like people are like. If you if they didn't if it's not on the gram then it ain't real. The Seriously, really weird man. thing that I'm like starting to realize of like you just like the, the things that people can portray of another person on the internet and people will believe it. Don't take nothing right. but a post. You know what I'm saying? Like one post and it's just like and you don't say nothing about this. It, like it's if real, I it's argue true. with every nigga that said I had surgery, the niggas would be like, it's just like, oh he didn't have surgery because he I just ain't never said nothing about it because like I'm not arguing with no nigga over no stupid you shit. You think it's like, cool that dudes get lipo and shit like that? I mean, if that's what they want to do, shit. Ain't I, that money? I, I don't know what the point of that is. I play tennis two times a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't really think that you need to have lipo. But if you want to go do that, that's you. I, I, I ain't mean. getting it. If I get anything, I'm going to get my dick done. I ain't going to get my stomach. <laughs> 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 Doctors, give me some more dick. Don't give me no. I don't need nothing else. Give me some more dick. If I'm going to go, if I'm going to go in there and go in there, you know they really I'm, got getting, surgeries, I'm getting right? some. Yeah, I'm getting you know, something else. I ain't gonna, don't crazy, keep me with the stomach. Bro. Give me some more bologna. Oh my God. <laughs> the homie like got that. that. Psycho got that shit. <laughs> no, I'm not getting that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> playing. <laughs> hey, now that you're in the tennis, it's dope to see you playing yeah. tennis. I'm like, man, it's dope to see, you know, you playing Niggas tennis. Playing tennis. Most tennis, people yeah. play basketball, yeah. get in shape. Yeah. Boy on a tennis court going crazy. Yeah. Who is like your go to tennis player that you go watching like this? Nice. Obviously, Carlos. Carlos Alcaraz. Obviously, Carlos. But like, Tennis people gonna be mad at me because on some black shit, I'm going Tiafo. Yeah, just on some like where he come from, how he uh, played, the story. Like, the story. Yeah, see, that's uh, how I knew, yeah. But my favorite player is probably Novak. Novak is probably maybe Carlos. I don't know. It's between Carlos and Novak and then Tiafo. Yeah, Carlos. Cold but Carlos, so cold. Like he <laughs> oh, young. He's, nice he's just like really good. And then like, when I sit and watch them, I'm like, oh, wait, no, this will be. Yeah. But there's other people that's like fun to watch, like Monfils. Mm -hmm. He's fucking. Entertaining and black, yeah. just slamming the ball, yeah. going crazy. Yeah, Nick. Curios, he's good. Oh, you yeah, getting into Curios. the mix? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah, like my daughter yeah. Yeah. yeah, Nick Curios is good to watch. Uh, and like, even like watching like Coco, like the girls. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sure. uh, Coco. Coco, nice. Sabalinka, she's fucking. I ain't never heard she that. Hard. First time she's time crazy hard. Uh, there's a lot of them though, like Taylor Townsend, fire. Like, you went deep. Yeah, 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 Chris saying, Eubanks. He from, he, oh, he, deep. Chris Eubanks, a, he a nigga too. He from Atlanta. Hard. Hey, ain't Towns, he from out here, right? No, she. Taylor, Taylor Townsend? Oh, Taylor Townsend. That's the Taylor, girl. You talking about uh, Taylor Fritz? Yeah, Fritz. Mm. Taylor Fritz, Fritz, Fritz from out here. Yeah, y'all yeah, ain't deep. See, yeah, y'all yeah. uh, probably got parlays going you know with tennis crazy? and everything. I wish, I, just, I wish that more black kids knew about tennis. Like I wish, I really wish that. The like sport is the expensive, sport, though. the sport is expensive, but just like, like you know, what I'm saying to play and train. But think about this though. Think about this: how mm -hmm. much we do for basketball in our community. Like, there's so many programs mm -hmm. for basketball. So Ain't many, no program. because it's think cheap. I, yeah, but think about. But it's I'm a saying, lot of programs. Like, I'm about like the Y, you can go here, go there, yeah, just get exactly. in the travel league. I'm, I'm telling you why, though, because yeah. tennis is a part. It's a one on one sport. So yeah. playing tennis and training in tennis is not like. You gotta think on some business shit. One coach, two coaches, you feel me? They could train 20 kids at once. Like yeah. basketball shit. You know what I'm saying? It consists of more people. It's cheaper to fund. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's hard in the hood. When you talk about the hood, we got liquor stores on every corner. Yeah. We got all the cheap basketball shit. Courts oh, we got the shit. Or the fucked up shit. <laughs> you know, speaking That's of basketball, way. it's funny. I, I I just seen a recent clip where you were saying that you wish that you had took basketball more serious. You was nice like that. I'm cool. 
I'm better in tennis though. I think tennis was my my uh, calling, but I just missed that calling. I think that you think you could have won. You think you could win league? If I played tennis from as a I'm kid, I'm saying basketball. You think you could win league? Oh no, nah, hell no. Nah. I couldn't. I could have nah. won league. I you think so? Yeah, yeah. Why? Sure. Cause you tall? No, I was really I'm athletic, super athletic. Like what? I was a rebound demon, bro. I was averaging twenty rebounds, stupid yeah, shit. No man, thing. what the fuck? I was a demon. I just the streets keep calling me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a story for another day, though. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I but you ain't no Hoover, though. Like, I'm different. I ain't, yeah, I'm, I'm like, telling you what like, I do. I'm, 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 are you like hood different? No, I'm like, not. I'm different. Like I'm not. I'm not an on the ball play player. Like? I'm going to rebound. But like where do you play basketball at? I play high school ball. Like where? I'm from the East Side. I went to Jordan. Can't go to yeah, no other school. Man. I didn't play against nobody. I want to hear y'all say that. But let me tell you again. I know my role. I'm rebounding. Yeah. I'm getting still. I play defense. That's my role. I'm not. I'm not gonna drop thirty. Don't sound on like a hooper to me. I, no, no, <laughs> drop no, a real that. hooper. No, I'm gonna get on the court and guess what? I'm gonna change the game. It's, what the like the, the rhythm like of the I'm game? Gonna, I'm gonna have all the rebound. Nobody gonna out rebound. Okay, if you're seven feet. You know when you say you a hooper, you I'm you got. Hooper. I'm gonna get some buckets, two like putbacks, and all that. But I'm telling points. you, I know my role on the team. And when I'm on the, when I'm on the floor, yeah. you're gonna be like, okay, we need him. On, we need him on the floor. Hey, so you a role player? Yeah, I'm a role player. Role yeah. Not role a players, I would have been a journeyman yeah. in the league. I'd have been a journeyman. Yeah, see, but I just I, like for me, I think basketball wasn't my sport. I think that if I would have played tennis at a young age, I would have been I'd have been in the league. Do you, but, do you do you contemplate it now, like going and try to do like some kind of professional tennis? Yeah, I do, man. I think I could one day. I only been playing for like a year and a half. I mean, not even a year and a half, maybe a year and some two two months, and I'm really good. So I think I'm finna beat this nigga soon. I don't even worry yeah, about it. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. That's Who like better in tennis out of you and YG? Why, he's definitely ask, better. Yeah, like he been saying, training. He talking like, shit. Bro, this yeah, nigga like, been training. Like that? That's not even like a real thing. Bro, this nigga been training for like a year and a half. Yeah, two, like, two days every day. The nigga yeah. playing tennis. Like he better for sure. Yeah. But let me get that same training. Oh, yeah. so yeah. he not gonna go get that same training. Yeah, no, <laughs> now you gotta that. catch up to catch me. Up I've been here. already on my guy. Already. You gotta go do two years now to like come like. Yeah. No. You know now that when I see you doing a lot of drip checks and stuff like that. Yeah. I remember when like pushes were like a thing, right? And we used to hang. I must have created the drip. Check shit though. I didn't even know that. See, that's I I heard that. Yeah, that's like I remember he created all that shit. It it, it, was you. Snatch my shit. Like he was getting. I remember he was getting on the uh, online and he was like showing like yeah. Yeah. yeah, You know he was walking up on niggas asking what they got on. I was doing that. I just stopped. I just then I asked the nigga, so they took I said, why you didn't make off a TV yeah, show? So, so we here live, yeah. must have created the drip check. We, yeah. this, is, this is now, yeah, give my boy his credit, he created it. You know, like, yeah. that's like, a, I seen, it's like, it's a yeah, lot of niggas it's now. It's a lot it's, of them now. It's, it's a, not it's, just one, but. The market's oversaturated. Yeah. Yeah, like, the market's definitely oversaturated. No question. But I remember being at Ladera Park, and one thing that stood out to me, I didn't know much that I had, I knew you, but I hadn't. Got to really yeah. meet you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, oh, what's up? My name's Stevie, I'm Mustard, like that. You came to the park, I was like, niggas can't be bummed. That was like Mustard's whole story. It was Mustard yeah. was like, niggas, I don't care if niggas cool, funny, whatever. Yeah. Niggas can't be bummed, right? Yeah, that's right. So I'm saying all that to say that I knew Mustard before he became big on the beats, right? And he was like a DJ. I'm going to bring something up to you that I think is going to make you remember. When I was going to Roll on Wheels back in the day, I'm an yeah, Eastside yeah, kid. Yeah, I used to yeah. catch the bus way over there. Yeah. And um, I remember you being an understudy to a guy, um, may rest in peace, Marquis. Yeah, Marquis, yeah. Oh, dude, name. man. And I yeah. feel like, um, how, was, how did that influence you with the whole DJing with Marquis? You know, Marquis, so my uncle was the one who, like, got me into DJing. Mm-hmm. Marquis was just, like, the cool older nigga that was just at that the just skating had, ring, just, just had nigga. the hoes, mm-hmm. like, whips. Oh, God. But Marquis' ass was crazy. When you think, when you start knowing Marquis, Marquis was a damn fool, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, but that was a good nigga, though. But, like, was a good nigga. coming up under him, it's like, man, it's like living in the skating ring. It's like, shit, you, you start to see. And I didn't even know the nigga was a DJ at first. I just thought the nigga was cool. Yeah, I just thought he had and money he had the cars whole, until he yeah, was money in the booth. I'm, like, I'm like, nigga, you DJing? Right. That made me want to DJ even more because that nigga was just a cool nigga and he had the hoes. At that time, it was yeah. just, that's all it was about. School. You should just sit at the table. After you got the floor, you'll be there. You, I see him like, yeah, what is he doing? Nigga. He like, no, this, that nigga DJ, he gonna yeah. be a DJ. And there's like, Mustard gonna be a DJ. I'm yeah. like, and that's back when um, it was, was you. A long time and ago. now he got a new name, but back when it was Pumpkin and you. So I'm like, yeah. but I'm just I'm just a kid just watching. Yeah. You know, he saw a kid. And yeah. I'm saying all that to say, like, we, we right. have. I, I got a question. You an East Side kid, you from Watts. What's up? But you was at Word on Wheels. Yeah. What the fuck was, was you doing? Going up way more. Way more. And going up. I'm so happy we you go, said that. We go to Skate Depot. I went to Tuesday nights at Skate Depot. What was going up? People were on our side. Whoa, went way harder. 
Nah, nigga. Skate you heard, people, what, nigga. Every skate day world. Every day world go up. This skate, Tuesday. Does skate people skate have a seven to seven? No, no. Exactly. Seven seven. Skate people only had Tuesday college night. That's yeah, the only see? time I'm no, going You know what's crazy? I only been skate fact. people like one I'm time. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about back then when we yeah. were skating. Yeah. College right night. now I can put my I'm, skates on and do the same I'm thing. I'm talking about high school days, nigga. Nigga. This high school day, yeah, we talking about college night. Nigga. It was to be a college night on Tuesday yeah. at Skate Depot. Yeah. They had one that roll, but it didn't last that long. Yeah, it was like eighteen bro, and over at night. Going, yeah, but you can sneak in. Though. You, you can get in. in. We like, was at Skate Depot Saturday, Sunday. Skate Depot. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I only been to Skate Depot one time in my life. How did that influence you with DJing? Like the skating ring. How did that influence you? Like as far as like with your DJing? I think that was just like, man, like rhythm, fucking. Hearing old shit that was just like all that Snoop Dogg, Stacey Adams, fucking all the East Siders. Nigga, you, bro, it was just like, even like the Keek the Sneak and all that shit back then was just like a part of my childhood. You know what I'm saying? Skating yeah. was just like a whole thing. Like, I lived in the world on wheels though. Wednesdays, Fridays, Friday, Saturday, Friday gospel night, Saturday, I mean, two to eight. Night. I mean, Sunday, two to eight, Saturday, seven to 10 or seven to, yeah, seven to 10. I lived in that shit. So it was just like, from that to parties, man, music was just like, I didn't know I was going to be doing this, but I thought I just wanted to be, I just wanted to be a DJ. A lot of niggas got DJ in their name nowadays and they don't, they actually don't have a DJ. So so it's kind of dope that you actually do DJ, right? And um, we always talk about the the dopeness, like of being like your kid's hero. Like, do your sons like look like, man, my dad, my dad, my dad, I think my kids think they cooler than me. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes I think I think, but I think my son, yeah, my son, though, because he, you know, he want to wear chains and can I can I wear this? Can I wear my chain? You got a chain, so it's in my shit. So I gotta give it to him when it when to wear. It. Can I wear my chain, shit like that. My daughter, she really don't care. She's living her own world. I was telling him the other day. I'm like, bro, our kids is not from L. A. Like, they not like yeah, they not they even live on planet them. Yeah, you think about like fucking where we come from. It's like. How you even think? I had this conversation with Nip where I was just like, man, like, do you, I asked him, do you ever think that like this shit too good to be true? Something gonna happen. Like you might lose all your money, something. And he like, he sent me this, this, uh, fucking, this YouTube with TD Jakes talking about like how we, we come from, where we come from, uh, tricks us to think something bad gonna happen. We go to a party. And it's like a turned up party. That shit was cracking. Nigga got shot. Nigga got robbed. The yeah. 60s came in. They yeah. run, they run, they start robbing niggas for their phone. Yeah. That's all like when you grow older, then you start thinking about it. It's like, damn, that's why I think like that. Everything ain't a, yeah. hap, supposed to cracking don't uh, <laughs> the, like a nigga don't gotta get beat up for it to have been cracking. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That the party, be nigga, that shit was so turned, it got shut down. It's not <laughs> tight. Shit's niggas fried. That's yeah, that's horrible. not tight, fool. Like when you think of that. So like for our kids, it's just like, man, I DJ Cedric the Entertainer's son, birthday party maybe like four years ago or some shit. And I just was like, man, I think he was like turning 16 and it, all these kids are just having a time of their life. And you got must, I'm DJing, you know, DJing niggas is like, it's just like, and they just having fun. I think I, so I, we live in the same community. I walk, I walk, I'm walking. I see his son, the PT Cruiser come down. He blasting him, not a PT Cruiser, Mini Cooper. Blasting the music, you would think this nigga in a marrow. Like you, th- you would think he, he like in some, and it might not even been a Mini Cooper, but it just brought to my mind that they don't even give a fuck about the shit that we gave a fuck about. It was like yeah. you had to have a Monte Carlo or a Camaro, or a Benz or some mm-hmm. shit like that. It's like, bro, they don't care about that. Everybody got money. Everybody around, all the kids got money. So it's like that part of it is not like a real thing. Exactly. So it's like. Yeah, the the question that I'm the the real question I'm getting into is about basically about family and yeah. how keeping things together, the difficulty that it can be to keep families close knit families together, and like seeing everything that you went to, and I never got to see you really speak your yeah, son, speak yeah. your mom, because at the end of the day, that's like that's the mother, that's the mother of your yeah. children, man. It's respect oh, shit. there. You going down this It's, it's respect there. You feel me? It's oh, respect fuck. there. Fuck. It's respect there off yeah. the off the dribble. You know what I mean? Just so, ask me the fucking question. All right. Yeah, um, man. what is it like going through a divorce? Uh. What is it like? It could be. <laughs> I gotta ask. I don't gotta answer the politically correct. It can be bad or it can be good. It can be. Uh, tricky or it can be not tricky. I really can. Re- I really can respect your answer because I can tell when somebody at peace and they let shit go, and that's important to do. 
without bashing nobody, talking yeah. shit. Some, it's, a lot of times people feel like they need to bash people yeah. in order to heal. No, nigga, just move the fuck. Yeah, I'm just not in shit. that space where I want to bash space, nobody. Yeah. Like that shit ain't. I don't. I don't get nothing from that. I, don't. I think the world never got the opportunity to hear you speak like that, yeah. and I think it's gonna be a different view on it now instead of thinking like, oh, must it's some asshole who just left his. Yeah, I don't know that. Like that narrative like that. when people say shit like that is like he foul. Like people in my comments, you fucked up. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> Speaking to people in your comments, how do you find time to cook their ass because, whenever they're in your comments man, acting like that? Because it's just like, <laughs> man, y'all don't fucking know me, one. Two, it's like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Three, it's like half the people that be on the internet that be talking shit about niggas, they don't look like shit. Or they not nobody. <laughs> so it's like, who the fuck are you to comment on? Who the fuck told <laughs> the fuck you you had you? a right? To talk to me, you know you seen the you seen the one the other day with oh nigga seven. God. Yeah, you was good. You that I was with you till you start talking about Dre, bitch. Who the fuck told you you had a right to talk to me? You don't even have a right to talk to me. We're not even the same caliber. You comment like this picture. Move hey, around. good picture. Say some shit like that. Don't talk to me about no fucking. <laughs> you know, based off the internet, you got to type. I don't get that. That's a that's a janky <laughs> question, but I don't really <laughs> get that. That's racist, Lord. fool. That's really racist. I think that's racist. You got to type. Everybody, no, no, look, look. I think everybody that be saying that shit mm. is racist. On my mama. <laughs> racist to what? On my mama, they just racist because that's like me saying me and him look alike. We don't look alike. We just the same complexion. How the fuck do I look like him? I like the way you put that. You put that right. That don't look like the same person. But you got a lot of you got a lot of songs, man. I ain't gonna lie, much. When I sit back and think about it, I'm like, God damn, just I think I think we this past the 10 summers now, we yeah. 20 summers, 20, 30 summers. Like, you got some of the most iconic songs on, like, bigger than the West Coast. We talking about Goldie. When Janae Aiko got on, I can't come close to me and I'm said, to be, yeah. eat the booty like groceries. <clears throat> yeah, I was surprised just like y'all. When you heard it for the first time, you was like, what you did? What? You know, some freaky shit, ain't you? Freaky. Yeah, I don't know. I... Do you ever get the opportunity when they are making the music to go in there and give an input and say, I think you yeah, should yeah, say that. Or you should say this. some ass tonight. Nigga horny. Uh, See, Big that's man. the problem now. Mm -hmm. That's the problem horny. right there. Horny, see? Nah, I, but yeah, I always have input to say, like, I You hands I on like, with it, you like, man, yeah, hey, don't I, say that shit. I don't know if that was. But that, no, nah, I wasn't in there. But I don't <laughs> think that was good for her. I think that was a good thing. I think it was a good thing. I think, it, I think it's like her it. everlasting bars in the Made the Song. He man. just now released like a fast, sped up version of it. I'm like, why do you. Yeah, I don't, man, I don't, I don't know. What's know going but on. That's a story for another day. Yeah, I don't know. a story for another day. But um, I like Omarion though, man. Like I said, all these I learned I, a lot from him. You learned a lot from him? Yeah. Let me know. Talk to me. That's how I am today. Oh, yeah, because like with his situation. Yeah, how to how yeah. to be at peace. I think he is one I of the niggas that so like tight, nothing bro. touch him. He's made out of it. It's like, bro, you don't never have to say nothing bad about nobody. I like that. Like, I think that's so tight. Like, you don't have to take nobody down. Them other niggas ain't getting the memo. Them niggas study having we meeting back up. Nigga, no, y'all ain't. Y'all yeah. missing the main nigga. Yeah, y'all not beating back up. You're yeah. missing the main nigga. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when I look back at all this music that you made and all these accolades just over time, just looking like, damn, what's next for DJ Mustard? What's next? My album. I'm trying to uh, what is next? My album, yeah. Everybody that did me wrong, gotta pay. So karma for them. I love the competition, man. I love the. I gave you niggas five years to figure it the fuck out. You finna fuck them up? Yeah, it's about that time. Cause I just I just be feeling like I be sitting back and I be looking at this shit and I just be seeing niggas run with this whole niggas get to saying niggas names and songs and what I don't do and all this weird shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> I don't really like You gonna let the music speak? Yeah, I just like when I heard the I just bar really for the first, believe that niggas ain't like that. When so, I heard the bar for the first time, I didn't take it. I didn't take it in that light. Did no, you? I don't either. I didn't I take didn't, it in that I mean, light. I mean, I asked, I asked them. You, you hit I him up them. though. Like I'm pretty no, sure. I like, seen him. I asked him. Okay, I, I, but I didn't take the bar like that. I, but see, I don't be really liking that though. Do y'all know what we talking about, right? So yeah, we, we all don't. on the same page here. Y'all did get to hear Hit Boy when he referenced. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's. I don't think it's. It ain't because I asked him, but I not like on. I'm not saying. Yeah, I already know. I'm saying I asked man, man, man. But I just be like, I don't really like that because I never say his name. In the light that what I don't what I don't see you do, I don't care. I, I think his intentions was not to probably do it, but I can't speak for that but man because he's his what own you think man. The intentions were? I think the intentions was to like basically shine a light on because I think he feel like he don't get enough of the yeah, but just he don't feel like but that's he gets like me saying because I don't get enough of the this or I gotta stay with this I nigga. Do, yeah. Who the fuck cares yeah. what this nigga do? I wish I you I wish you would have wrote a sixteen. 
Yeah, I got some. You got some? Yeah. You got, got some for real? Hey, that nigga yeah, album fire, dog. I got real, for real? Shit. I'm listening to the album today. I got I'm some shit that's going like, to really to pierce people's hearts and be like, wow, this is crazy. I never thought that I would hear some shit like this. But what? on that thing, I don't have a problem with him. I just, I just don't think that us as we are from here, and I'm not saying all the people that he mentioned is from here, but it's like, don't pit me against you. Like, I'm not against you. Like, I ain't, I'm not your enemy unless you want me to be, but like, you don't want me to be your enemy because I'm good. I feel like y'all should do some work together now. No, but I'm good. Like, I'm, that, the music shit, like, I'm good at it. Really him. I'm real good Happy at age. it. Like, I'm really good at it. I think y'all be dope if y'all do, like, go and get in the studio, you know, hit boy and make some shit together. I think it'll come out dope. You think so? Do y'all got some shit to, like, do y'all have anything y'all nah, worked on? I don't on? got nothing. We don't. Nothing I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I'm not, yeah, right now I'm on some mustard shit. Know, I'm on some me against whoever. Can you tell me the title of the album? Like, Hell no. Can That's I get a release date? God damn. Why are you date. here? I don't have a release date. Shit. I don't have a release date yet. Can I get a name of a song off the shit. album? Who here? feature? <laughs> shit. For, uh, give me a feature. Give me a feature. Fuck. Give me a feature. Oh, Who feature? For, for feature? But don't say don't say this, nigga, please. No, nah, I'm not gonna say him. Uh, I'll tell you some people that's on the album. Fucking Doug on the album. Fucking. Uh, well, you ain't gotta drop nah, I tell him, I tell him. Man, we gotta bomb it up. Boom, boom, boom. I'll tell you some people that's on the album, though. Like, I ain't gonna do nothing. Blue Bucks on the album. Fucking some West Coast niggas. Uh, Yachty on the album. Mm. Ella's Roddy's, obviously, you know, normals. Oh, yeah, that's Ty. Normal. Yeah, There's normal people that I ain't really going to out the. You might hear some crazy shit that's different, but it's not, you know, it's me. It's what I do. It ain't, I ain't trying to be nobody I'm not. I fuck with that. Now, we got a segment on the show we call Keep It 400. Right, yeah. it's a rapid fire question here. Mm -hmm. You can't sugarcoat with me. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna let you give me no political click yeah. answers. None of that yeah. type of little shit. But yeah. I'm asking you, just answer it. <laughs> it's easy. It's not even. All I'm right. not even gonna ask no wild shit. All right. Like the first question. What's worse, a lying ass nigga or a broke ass nigga? Both. <laughs> That's see how easy this is? I'm just warming up. I just want to see lying. if you're gonna be on that type of time. Broke Why, and lying is crazy. Broke and lying. Who's gonna do it. something to you? I can't stop that. a nigga from lying, boy. You can't stop a nigga from lying. Ooh, I know some lies, boy. I would a nigga going. When a nigga wanna lie, nigga. Nigga know some lies. I know some lying ass, ass niggas, too, niggas man. Fuck. Now with you having a bunch of chili, right? Yeah. What's more important to you? Time or money? Time. A thousand percent. You get money back. You can't get time back. Right. That's my kids, though. That's the daddy in me. It was That's like, the daddy my kids grew up so they growing up fast. Quick, man. Damn. And you be like, damn, I can't get that time back. I remember when you was like this. You and can't get time ass. back. And time, money, like you can't make money without having the time to make it. For real, nigga. Bore. Dizzle. Yeah. Um, um, time, for sure. Tits or ass? Ass. Ass. I don't even like really asking you shit when we get into that type of shit. He's you, a freaky nigga. Huh? He like, yeah. I don't even want to get you started. <laughs> you know, and another beautiful thing That's I for see me about is face you, yeah, first. I do not face. face first for me too. Face, so face trash. I'm cool. Face, feet, the feet. I, I'm a feet. I'm a, a ass I'm about and titties. To, That's some freaky shit. Like the feet. Like what? You, like what do you mean? Like I hate them ugly feet, bitch. Big feet, bitch. I don't like big feet. I don't think I never seen no. Yeah, big feet. I hate a big feet, bitch. Maybe that's it. I never seen no. I ain't never seen no ugly feet like that. Oh, I see you keep it nostalgic though. Like, you know, like West Coast, we try to keep it nostalgic. You're really into this car shit. So yeah. a six four colors old school or a Maybach. A Maybach. Six four colors? I'm cool on that. Yeah, you Give me like the Maybach. You gotta say something like that. Oh, six four, you want this six four right here? I'll take a I'll take a sixty one. I like a six four in the in the in the, but then you got the, what is that, 59, 58 right here? Yeah, that's a 58. Yeah, so I give like me the 57. 50, give me I the like, 58. don't get it wrong, I'll drive this motherfucker give me, the, give me the 50, I'll take a 58 over the Maybach. I like the 57. I like the 58 rag over the Maybach. How many cars do you got, like, like, like compiled all together? How many cars you got that you, uh, that you know? Because I, I know. Like five. Oh, you only got two feet. I don't know why you even got five. No, nah, so anyway. my bitch drive my cars and shit. Oh, I mean, that um, makes sense. The levels to this shit. What's the best spot to eat in LA? Oh, shit. I'm gonna go home team a district. I'm gonna say district. They got them, them Buffalo Rolls. They got the way. Tex Mex. They got the, and that's my family shit. So I'm gonna go there. That's but, your family shit? Yeah, my oh, that's dope. Shit. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. I'm gonna yeah. mention your name next time I'm in there. Yeah, that, call me. I'm, I'm I'm saying, old, I like care. that. Yeah. Well, I did. What's your go-to spot? Best man? place. That's tricky. Though. That's a tricky yeah, question. My, yeah, that's tricky as fuck. But it's I'm gonna ah, it's tricky. That's it's tricky. Like when you home, I'm gonna give you my top three. Go top, when I'm you going. hungry, oh top three, I can give you a top three. Give me top three. Yeah, my like top, that. my top three is crazy because it's all in Inglewood. I e got jamming. Phillips barbecue. Ooh, ooh, I'm going Phillips. Oh I my got, mama, I'm I'm going. Phillips. I got weed jamming and I got Bayou Grill. 
<laughs> oh shit. shit. I'm going Phillips, Charlie's on Pico, fish, Charlie's on Pico. Mm. Niggas don't know about that. And I'm gonna go Johnny Pastrami on Sepulveda. I was gonna say, don't say the one, because that no, ain't even, that ain't even Johnny Pastrami yeah, no more. That ain't Johnny Pastrami no more. Down. I'm hooked yeah. on Joey's right now. Them hibachi wings the one, got me. That ain't the one, boy, though. Them, Joe, Joe. them hibachi wings got me right now <laughs> in the choco <laughs> and that cauliflower. Hibachi <laughs> wings got me in the choco right now. All right, so do you like night sessions or like day sessions when you record? Day. I hate going to the studio at night. Yeah, I've been on my daytime shit lately. I just feel like I go to sleep at at uh, nighttime. I just, I'm, I, bro, I'll be going to sleep. At ten o'clock at night. Oh, you like one of them? Yeah, I get up at six, work out. I'm not doing all that. You work at night. Yeah, my, I feel like my days will be fucked up. Like, okay, so now it's an ongoing topic online that everybody in the South is saying that it was a time, and of course we all know, Trapper Die days, yeah. where Young Jeezy was bigger than Ho. How do you feel about that? I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how to feel about that, and I don't want to say the wrong answer because I really don't know. I know how Jeezy made me feel, and I know how Hove made me feel. I did go to the South and see the Jeezy effect, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that shit was pretty crazy. But I don't know the answer to that. Who you, at that, in that we're going to put it in that time frame, because, of course, Hove is Hove. Yeah. In that time frame, who would you pick at that time when Jeezy was like Jeezy was on that mad run pit mixtape? How old was we, though? We weren't listening to that. Right? I was listening to Jeezy. We was listening to Jeezy, but who was, was you really Hove. listening to? Keep it a buck. Yeah, I was off Wayne. I was listening to Wayne. And who else? Yo, yeah, I don't count, man. Who don't Wayne. count? You're from the east side. Who? I was listening to Boosie. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Boosie get to tripping? What? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Wait. Uh, Wait. Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy. Why did Young Jeezy Boosie home? get to tripping, Boosie? <laughs> no, like, like, tripping on shit. He started pulling out receipts and shit. He's like, nigga, dirt, dirt, dirt. Boosie, boo, tripping. He called you? Did he call you? I don't know what he did, but I got something for that ass, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so at that time, who you going, Hove or um, Young Jeezy? Look, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say I'm gonna say this. Like, people, like the people, the consumers, right? You got times where motherfuckers be off cycle, like not, mm -hmm. like not having, like, albums out or singles and shit out. You feel me? So I don't know. Probably at that time, Jeezy was in cycle hot, having his shit going. And Hove wasn't in cycles, so people probably, I don't know. I mean, that's a great, that's a great. You feel I'm, me? I'm, a, I'm, I'm different. But, but that conversation was in the South. I'm going to let it stay in the South. Yeah, that's a better. But I'm yeah, speaking on it because, I'm going to speak on it because I'm a Hove fan. And I'm going to let niggas know right now, yes, I was a Trap or Die fan, but I'm a real Jay-Z fan. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Jay-Z oh, Do you fan. ever think Jeezy was better, bigger than Jay-Z? Never, no. Oh, okay. No, fuck no. I huh. like, 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 I'm Hove, I'm. Jesus but I fuck with Jeezy, don't get me wrong. I still listen I to I, his too. music is timeless. He got timeless shit. Yeah. He got timeless shit. So this the this is a question I got for you, Muster. If you can only keep one producer's catalog, it's between Dr. Dre, Timberland, Kanye West, or Pharrell. You only can keep one of their catalog. One. And it's Dr. Dre, uh -huh. Timberland, Kanye West, and Pharrell. That's fucking tough. That is a great question. Oh, fuck. Dude, you, you only keep one catalog. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, when you say these catalogs, are you talking about like they rap careers too or just songs they produce? We can put their rap careers in there. I mean, because well. it there's only, be, yeah. what, two of them, I think, no, three. Three of them got, <sighs> no, damn, they all do. We got to put yeah. it all in there. Yeah, we put their music in there too. Oh, that's tough, bro. Fuck. I'm gonna say yay. I'm gonna say yay, bro. I'm gonna say yay. I love Dre and I love for real. I love Timberland too, because he had all that Aaliyah shit, Missy. Fuck. That's a tough question, but I'm just gonna say yay. Yeah, Justin Timberlake too. Yeah, Justin, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Fire. Fuck. If but, you only can pick one catalog, YG, who you picking? Damn, that's I'm tough. I'm picking Dre, nigga. You picking Dre? You West Coast? You a real this right here? Dre, I ain't too, gonna lie. Dre had Eminem. I'm a West yeah. He really he had, like, West Coast nigga yeah. right here. He's gonna always stay with the home team. And what's your go-to cheat meal? What's my go-to cheat meal? 
Yeah, fried chicken, mac and cheese. I like yeah. when the yams kind of. I like yams when they touch. accidentally touch. I don't no, like I'll, when they make yam and mac. Nah, nah, I make them touch. No, nah, nah, nah. Accidentally bump heads. Mac casserole. That's they getting out of hand. You know, they be you making hell. No, they be making stunt food on. Don't you be cooking this shit? I do everything, man. I got you know me. I'm a little bit everything, man. I just that's why I'm jack of all trades. Hey, what but, the um, fuck? Um, what's your go-to cheat meal when you dying and all that? YG, you say yams, mac, chicken. A cheat meal that's like not in my diet. Yeah, thing. you going crazy with it. Um. Cheat meal that's not in the diet. Some pizza hill or some McDonald's. You still eat McDonald's? I eat McDonald's. Yeah, nah, like see, that's late problem night. Problem, you don't eat McDonald's, huh? I don't have a problem with McDonald's, oh. but I like they fries when they fresh and I like when yeah, ice cream. Yeah, that's why you gotta get it made to order. You gotta yeah, tell they them. Don't like, do, they don't listen. They hard headed. That's McDonald's. the problem, man. See, you like going to the wrong people. McDonald's. That's the problem. I'm living, I, live, I actually live in pretty good. <laughs> I, actually live, I actually live in pretty good community. You gotta, you McDonald's ask, nice. You gotta ask them. Fresh to order, made fresh. I'm gonna remember that. I'm telling Mustard. Or tell them salt. Tell them fries, no salt. They gonna make them right then and there because they're all the. That's the trend. Do you get a side of the fries on the side? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I do the McDonald's because like, the sh- like when I'm um out late and I'm faded and shit, hungover. Yeah, I everything goes close. Sure. You get nuggets and shit, or you get cheeseburger kind of thing. Man, I get the um, I get the ten piece nugget, Jeez. well done, fresh fries with the this Big Mac. Well done, style. like it's a <laughs> real food. Well done <laughs> nuggets, like it's real food. Oh that shit man, be real for sure. Yeah, if you can, McDonald's. if you can change one thing about your life. What would it be? <laughs> oh, <Whiskey>. fuck. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. Ask, man. Uh, Just do it. Just say it. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it, man. Just say it. I don't know, bro. If I could change one thing in my life, how would I do it? Um, Yeah, I don't know. Just say it, man. I don't know, guys. I respect it. YG, if you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? Um, about my life? Uh, I want a son. And shit, I have a son right now. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't change my daughters, but I'd just probably fuck more to, you know what I'm saying, have a son. Especially off the goddamn, uh, uh, the cherry bomb pills. Oh, man. Fuck. He got a male and natural know. male enhancement. This man is a crazy man. He's, he's standing on bread. Pussy monster, work. pussy eater. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go knock a hole in something. They work, man. Yeah, I'm going to go knock a hole in something for sure. Bomb, for sure. Um, I think this is dope, man. This is a legendary interview. I, um, I just want to thank you, Muscle, for coming by. Thank you, all, man. You know, thank you, man. I'm tired of seeing you. I've been around you all day. Um, <laughs> this is legendary. I don't think I ever sat down like this. I think it's dope. We got to learn a lot of shit about you. A lot of shit about you. Before we go, Mustard, is there anything you want to say, get off your chest, let the world know? Yeah, fuck, no, I was just playing. Nah, I ain't <laughs> gonna hey, hey uh, tell them about your experience with the cherry bomb pills. <laughs> tell them that. This nigga crazy, man. You gonna let them know the secret. She do they, do they, they work? No, 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 I approve, man, because one night I really, I posted on my tell. story, and I didn't know the effect when I posted on my story, but I, I, I popped one of them things, and like, man, like, it was up. I must say. Find out. It was up. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> do. I'm gonna do a, a real time review. Nah, that's it. I'm saying it's work, man. Review. And they are <laughs> natural, man. Why do you got anything before we go? Oh um, no, nah, man, it's lit. I see y'all on the next one. On the podcast. Four hundred.